everybody. So we are gonna check the weight on Project 200. We also got the car back from the upholstery shop and I wanna show you guys that right now. So go ahead and uh, roll that. <laughs> All right, so the car's down on the scales. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's uh, it's a little bit heavier than what we originally thought it might be, but it is a full street car with uh, full interior and everything. Heat, AC, uh, that's with nobody in it, and that is also, there still needs to be a little bit of water added, like the ice water tank and everything else, but otherwise that's pretty much how it's gonna sit. So looks like 30, 322 with no one in it. So definitely a little bit heavier than what we thought it would come in at, but we didn't really know with having a full interior in the car and really all the bells and whistles and everything. Yeah, undercoating so, and everything. Yeah, undercoating. I mean, the car is totally built to be a driver and everything. So as you guys can see, interior's all in it. Uh, that's also with the big tires on it. I mean, the thing could have a little bit lighter tire, like 275s, but shoe, everything. So I mean, not, not terrible. Uh, a little bit heavier than what we were originally hoping, but not too, too bad. All right, weight with driver. If you guys are good at math, I guess we'll figure out what he weighs. <laughs> 35, 33, 32. So 35, 32 with a driver. Uh, is there fuel in it? A little bit, a little bit of fuel. So check we'll check and see kind of where that's at. Give us a better idea. But check out the hood. So the hood's all gone on it and everything. See the turbo sitting in there. Pretty sweet. Something kind of different you don't really see on a lot of cars. Uh, we're going to end up coming up with some little, some little covers for that, for when the car's going down the road and everything. So see how much fuel's in the car. Give us an idea. Uh, I'll grab one real quick. All right, so nice flashlight. <laughs> Spent all the money on the car. <laughs> uh, half a tank. Yeah, probably half, yeah. About half a tank of fuel, so that's that's like probably five gallons, roughly. So that'd probably be about race. About race weight, anyway. So that's pretty close, really. Right, race right there for fuel wise. So. That's probably really close to where it's going to end up, actually. A uh, little bit of water, ice water tank. Because um, there's nothing really in here. Yeah, so we've got to pump that through the whole system. It's definitely going to gain probably, I don't know. Yeah, so there's not much. Yeah, there's not not much in there right now. So definitely going to gain some there. Uh, yep, yeah, that's what it ended up being. I guess there's still a couple little things, too, if you ended up adding like a little radio or putting the... Uh, glove box in there and everything to finish up, but otherwise that's where it's at. All right, so just looking it up on this website, uh, if you come down here, look at estimated curb weight, it looks like it's about 2820 from the factory. That's with an aluminum V8. So after everything, about 500 pounds heavier than what we're uh, the car was originally from the factory. Uh, adding twins, adding a bigger transmission, uh, nine inch rear end, steel block, adding a full heat and ac system uh, i don't remember did the car originally have ac no yeah so i mean it didn't even have that from the factory so uh, all the boost control efi stuff that's all extra now um and then quite a bit bigger wheels and tires and all that so uh, probably not too bad you always hope that it's gonna end up lighter um and as light as possible when you're trying to race it but it's a street car so that's the way it'll be Still missing the door bars too. Oh yeah, so here's the weight, uh, I guess minus door bars with pretty much all the water in it now. And so you gained about 20 pounds there. <clears throat> with driver, water and everything. 35, 65, 62, right about there. All right, so we got the car weighed. It's a little bit heavier than what we want, but we need to keep plugging forward for uh, trying to get this thing out to an event here soon and hopefully take it for a drive here tomorrow to a, a little car meet that we got going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the Billa Atomizer 225s back in. We ended up using the Holly 160s just to use them to see uh, kind of see what was going on with it. 
Uh, I contact Billet Atomizer. They gave me some new data and some new information to try uh, within the tune. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the new injectors plugged in and then the new data plugged into the tune and hopefully see if that works. And I'll update you guys as I do it and hopefully we're better off now. Um, as you can see, not too bad. Just gonna go ahead and pull these out. I'm already had, uh, getting it done. Just unplugging these. Gonna go ahead and uh, drain out a little bit of the fuel. Hopefully just tilt this back, swap the injectors real quick and it shouldn't be too big of a deal. All right, so the injectors are switched over and we're gonna go ahead and get it running. <laughs> data definitely seems better it's still idling pretty rich but i will show you guys what the data is that i have so this is for the billet atomizer 225s this is the new data they gave us um so right here i can show you guys and if you guys are running the same thing so the graph before uh the one nine was like a 1.3 so one nine and then it, it just tapers so this data is quite a bit more aggressive here and then tapers out to what it was anyway. But this definitely seems to have helped. So the car seems to be uh, loading up because it's on regular gasoline. So if we let it sit there and idle for quite a while, it kind of starts to run a little rough. Uh, once you clear it out, it comes back down to idle. It seems pretty happy. So maybe with these big of injectors, we might just have to deal with it kind of loading up on fuel a little bit at idle on regular gasoline. Like if we ever go to ethanol or whatever, probably not gonna be an issue at all. But for this setup and what we're doing, that's kind of what it what it's given us. So definitely seems to have helped. Uh, and so now we can start trying to drive it around and start putting into some boost. So you guys do not want to miss those videos. Uh, if you would, please like, subscribe, and share. And turn on your notifications so whenever we post some new videos, you guys see them. I appreciate everybody for supporting the channel, and we'll see you guys next time.